Hello, and welcome to this Microsoft Ignite Partner Showcase. This is the uh, Atos Partner Showcase, and I am Dwayne Natwick, and I'm going to be talking about multi-cloud security operations with Microsoft Sentinel. My name is Dwayne Natwick, and I am a principal cloud security lead at Atos, and I look forward to this presentation where we're going to First, give a little bit of background on what is a SIM and SOAR uh, solution. Uh, what are some of Microsoft Sentinel's capabilities to provide that those services? Uh, how can a multi-cloud data source connection uh, to Sentinel help in your security operations? And then how does Atos enhance Microsoft Sentinel capabilities for security operations? Uh, first off, let's talk about what is a SIM and a SOAR. A, a SIM is a security information and event management uh, solution. Uh, it's pronounced a lot of different ways. I've seen generally in the cybersecurity circles, it's usually called a SIM uh, rather than a SIEM, but I've heard it called multiple different ways. Uh, I'm not going to be the uh, be the pronunciation pr police for that particular acronym. So uh, however you want to pronounce it, I've heard it uh, heard it multiple ways. Uh, it but what it does is it's a central location for logs and security events. So any activity uh, that uh, and information that is coming in from multiple data sources within your network goes into this SIM and it aggregates all of this information. Uh, a SOAR is a security orchestration and automated response solution. Uh, it generally is part of the SIM service or a separate solution that is being used for the automation and response to typical types of events that are seen. Uh, you know, maybe brute force attacks on port 3389 or port 22, you know, that are typical types of attacks. We can automate those types of attacks by blocking that traffic and, and things like that. So that's really what a, a SOAR is going to do for us. Uh, what are the benefits of using a SIM and SOAR? It's helping out and helping to provide additional defense in depth uh, capabilities, you know, identifying you know, where within that, uh, those layers of defense in depth uh, are taking place you know, at, the, uh, at the network layer, at the compute layer, at the data layer. It's finding and it's watching all of those layers uh, and those levels of defense in depth. Uh, for anomalous activity and for something to, to be an event to take place that is outside the norm. Uh, and it is used to, I, when we identify and we find uh, and we look at those logs and those events, uh, we're looking to decrease our vulnerabilities and identify potential threats before they become full-blown attacks within our environment and then remediate those threats and decrease our attack surfaces within our environment. So, uh, and you know, to tie in the SOAR solution in there, as those as those potential threats and vulnerabilities are located, uh, initiating certain workflows then to uh, to remediate and to automate that remediation without manual intervention as well. And what does this? Uh, what does Microsoft Sentinel do? Uh, Microsoft Sentinel and its features are cloud native. They're a cloud native SIM and SOAR solution. They integrate with other controls, other data feeds from, from a wide variety of industry standard uh, security solutions, as well as uh, the entire uh, Microsoft cloud ecosystem being Microsoft 365, Azure Active Directory, uh, uh, micro, uh, Azure itself and uh, Microsoft Defender for Cloud, all of the Defender solutions, um, Defend and Defender 365 solutions, and, and across uh, across multi cloud as well, such as AWS uh, and GCP. Uh, it has integrated Microsoft's machine learning and artificial intelligence capabilities. It ties into the threat intelligent feeds globally to understand potential zero day threats that are taking place. Uh, it has extensive compliance reporting and forensic capabilities and the ability then to investigate and respond to threats uh, within uh, within those logs and, and activities that are and uh, events that are taking place and provide the level a level of automation 
to protect against uh, and to decrease the attack surface within your organization. Some more around the capabilities and how we can, uh, how Microsoft Sentinel can help to, uh, to integrate into IDS and IPS and firewalls and event logs, uh, user activity monitoring, watching for anomalous behavior, uh, database and server access monitoring, who is accessing those devices, who's accessing those resources within your cloud environments, uh, threats, both internal and external can be found and can be notified and people can be noted, the proper security operations people can be notified to, uh, to analyze and do real time monitoring, correlation and analysis of what's going on within the environment. And one of the key things around a uh, deploying a SIM in a source solution is a lot of times SIM solutions have a lo long time to implement. They're generally on premises. They're very expensive. You need to have uh, have the storage capacity for all of these logs and event uh, event uh, data that and have some way to uh, to house those to be able to do that threat hunting. And you need to have a level of uh, of experts to analyze and configure and do that integration for uh, for that sim to be effective within your organization and how you set up those rules how you analyze that data how you set up your data sources uh, if that is misconfigured it's going to decrease your effectiveness sentinel addresses a good portion of these where uh, where it's very simple and easy to set up all you have to do is create a log analytics workspace and can start connecting uh, connecting data sources into Microsoft Sentinel and you start to then gather information, gather logs and events into, uh, into Sentinel. Now, where we get into some, uh, some difficulty here is, is analyzing, configuring and integrating, uh, the, those data sources and that information and making use of that, uh, requires some expertise, requires, uh, security operations that understands how to, uh, hunt for, uh, hunt in log analytics using Custo query analysis and Custo query language to uh, to find potential threats that are taking that it might be taking place. Uh, so to address those pieces and to look at those pieces, Atos has security operations as a service that we can provide uh, powered by Sentinel, utilizing Sentinel as well as some of our own uh, internal tools uh, to look at compliance and risk mitigation and optimize those security controls, create policies and standardize Azure resources, have automated remediation responses as well as uh, as well as a full blown uh, security operations center that can respond to those threats and do that continuous uh, service improvement on your environment identify how sentinel uh, how sentinel is going to uh, assist and be used uh, across those resources as we go through and utilize and, and we go through and gather that information and do those levels of threat analysis within our organization. And when we think about the hybrid and multi-cloud environment and the hybrid and multi-cloud world that security operations create, uh, that, that utilizing on-premises and uh, and cloud resources that we get when, when we are migrating and utilize in our an enterprise, utilizing all of these resources, we need to aggregate all of that into Sentinel and Sentinel allows all that aggregation from AWS CloudTrail to, uh, to Cisco, to Symantec, to Palo Alto, all of those logs and events can, can be uh, pushed and sent to Microsoft Sentinel, uh, as well as on the right side of this diagram, you, uh, we have uh, you know Microsoft Purview, we have Azure Active Directory, we have Defender for Cloud, all of the Microsoft 365 services, uh, all the uh, all the Defender plans feeding into def def and policies to feeding into Defender for Cloud that are then feeding into Microsoft Sentinel. And all of that, those events, those logs, that activity is then is then aggregated 
into Sentinel to find out potential uh, potential threats, potential vulnerabilities within our environment and allows us to hunt against those as well as the Microsoft machine learning and artificial intelligence capabilities that are looking for anomalies on our on how how uh, how resources are interacting on our data or how our users are interacting on resources and f and identifies potential threats within there that we can then use tools such as law uh, such as logic apps to create a uh, a automated workflow to mitigate those threats and remediate those threats and alert and alert security operations on those threats, as well as log analytics, our security operations centers uh, within uh, within if your organization has the capabilities or if you're utilizing Atos's services, Atos will provide our own data scientists and continue to do threat analytics and threat logging and and uh, utilizing threat intelligence to find those threats uh, and find those vulnerabilities before they become a full-blown attack on your organization. And as uh, and micro, uh, Atos's security operations powered by Sentinel is available on the Azure Marketplace uh, as uh, as Atos security operations powered by Sentinel. Uh, we have a uh, have the ability on there to uh, contact somebody to discuss more about what we can do and how we can help you out, and uh, and how this service and the and what Atos has as a uh, as a global uh, uh, managed security solutions provider can and a global uh, partner of Microsoft can help to facilitate a uh, strengthening your security operations and your ability to uh, to respond to and to notify and identify on particular threats and vulnerabilities. So as I said, Microsoft Sentinel can uh, can connect to multiple data sources across uh, across multiple clouds as well as uh, as well as on premises. I'm going to show really quick uh, just what that what that means and how that can be done uh, with AWS CloudTrail. So Microsoft provides within Microsoft Sentinel uh, all of these data connectors, and if we go into Microsoft Sentinel um, and let me expand this a little bit to make it a little bit easier to read. Uh, we have have in here uh, in Microsoft Sentinel uh, data connectors. And if we if we scroll down to our data connectors, we have 124. This list continues to grow. Uh, just a couple of years ago, it was less than 100. Now we're up to 124. Uh, we have all of these uh, all of these solutions in here, we have Azure solutions, we have Microsoft solutions, we have Barracuda, we have BlackBerry, we have Checkpoint, Cisco, uh, Palo Alto is all in there, as well as we have AWS and we have GCP in here. Uh, if I go back to AWS and I, and I select AWS and go to the Open Connector page, it is going to... Uh, provide me with some prerequisite prerequisites. Uh, one of the things is uh, is we need to have right permissions uh, within the workspace, within the log analytics workspace, to uh, it, that's tied to Microsoft Sentinel. I have those right permissions on on my account. If you don't, it's going to have a red X. Uh, one of the nice things that uh, around this that Microsoft provides is it does provide a Microsoft Docs uh, that tells us exactly what we need to do to connect Microsoft Sentinel and AWS CloudTrail to start looking at looking at log information and to push those logs, uh, those event logs to and activity logs to Microsoft Sentinel rather than having if you're utilizing AWS and you're utilizing Microsoft tying to both of those. So uh, I've already done part of this. Uh, we have a Microsoft account that's given here to us. This is a service account uh, that that, rec that says that Sentinel is uh, uh, is the account that we are putting in CloudTrail. We also have an external workspace ID that Microsoft is giving that when we go into our IAM console for Microsoft, we create this AWS CloudTrail read-only access account that is uh, is then tied to uh, the uh, this Microsoft account ID and this external workspace ID. Uh, the other piece that we have to do now is take this R ARN uh, from 
AWS. So I'm in my Sentinel role that I created. So if I go to my roles here within here and I see my Microsoft Sentinel role, I select my role, my role is read only access. So all Microsoft Sentinel is doing to AWS CloudTrail is it's pulling that information. It's reading that information, but I need this information. I need this role here, this ARN role, and I'm going to copy that ARN role and put that role here in the role to add, and I'm going to add that role. It's going to validate that. It's going to validate that uh, that I have the ability to pull that information. And just that easy, now I have have connected uh, have connected AWS into Sentinel. And after a while, uh, this is going to recognize that that role, uh, that data connector is there and it is going to uh, going to light up and there we go. I refreshed and we have a green bar. So we know now that the connection status uh, is connected uh, with AWS. So now I will start bringing in AWS CloudTrail logs and events into my, uh, my Microsoft Sentinel environment. And that way when I run certain queries uh, within uh, and run my Custo queries within log analytics here. Uh, if I run a specific query uh, that is for uh, maybe an S3 bucket within uh, within CloudTrail, it's going to recognize that and it's going to uh, going to give me back information regarding uh, regarding what's going on within that environment. So very helpful source to be able to uh, to aggregate our security operations into one place uh, and then with the capabilities of atos the ability then to uh, to provide you with those security operations as a service uh, within your multi-cloud and hybrid environments so thank you very much i appreciate your time today uh, and and i appreciate you viewing this video hopefully you've learned something about uh, how you can, uh, can how you can uh, bring in and aggregate and create a security operations center and utilize uh, Atos for your security operations and use and leverage Microsoft Sentinel for that solution for SIM and SOAR within your multi-cloud and hybrid environments. If you want to have more information on this, there is a contact link on this uh, on this slide as well as you can find it uh, within the links that are provided with this video. So thank you everybody very much. I appreciate your time today uh, and enjoy the rest of Microsoft Ignite. Have a great day.